My name is Alyssa Mayer and this is Somatics for Riders. It is March. It is snowing. Last week it felt like spring here on my farm and uh, now, well, you can see what it looks like at our place. Uh, this is pretty typical for our uh, Oregon weather here on the ranch. But um, anyway, so what we've been doing with weather like this is a lot of sitting by the fire, snuggling up with the kids and reading stories. Um, I sit cross-legged a lot when I do that or sitting on the floor playing with them. And uh, when you're sitting like that, the reason I'm telling you that is that it causes your psoas muscle, your major hip flexor that we talked about in my last lesson, um, to become shortened and more contracted so that when you then stand up, if you stand up too quickly um, or if you've been sitting for a while, uh, those muscles can become uh, stretched and they can cramp or pull and uh, become quite uncomfortable. So today's Somatic Sunday tip for you is before you stand up, especially when the weather's cold, but anytime you've been sitting for a while, whether that's um, on the couch or in a chair at the computer, in a car, driving, in an airplane, traveling, um, or even sitting in a saddle on your horse, uh, it's nice to not just pop up. Oh, that's snow on the camera. <laughs> Sorry. Um, don't just pop up without thinking, but give yourself a moment to prepare. So think about what you're going to do for a few seconds before you actually stand up or put your weight, you know, on one leg to swing a leg over your um, saddle to slide off your horse at the end of a ride. Because that allows your brain and your motor system to create and execute the proper motor plan, which will uh, create length in the muscles you need length in as you contract the other muscles that you need to do the movement to get you out of the chair or out of the saddle. Uh, if you move too quickly and you were maybe a little bit distracted or focused on something else, you might move before the motor plan is complete and what happens then is that uh, grab or catch that you might feel in your hip area or sometimes in your lower back it happens too. Uh, that's the other kind of main symptom of having tight hip flexors from your psoas muscles being chronically contracted is that it pulls the spine forward uh, from inside the abdomen and that can cause some some low back tension and pain as well as feelings of tightness in your groin area so without that motor plan being properly executed sometimes those muscles don't lengthen passively as you go to straighten your leg to either stand up or swing over and get out of the saddle. And when that happens, then they are stretched and the stretch reflex is triggered, at which point the muscles recontract and then you feel pulling um, on either end of the muscle at the tendinous attachments because the muscle is not lengthening to allow the movement of your skeleton and the rest of your body. So giving yourself just a moment to picture what you're gonna do or think about the movement you're about to do allows your brain and your nervous system to execute that movement in the most efficient way possible, giving you the smoothest and most comfortable move. And this tip, of course, also applies to other movements, but the theme of the last couple of weeks has seemed to be uh, hip flexors and tension in that psoas muscle area. So there you have it. I am headed into the barn and I'm gonna check on my horses and make sure everybody is okay in this chilly weather that we're having. And then, uh, That'll be the end of our Sunday. So have a lovely one. If you have any questions, please do um, comment in the uh, text box or comment section down below this video. If you like this stuff, please do subscribe to my channel. It's the best way to support my mission of sharing Hannah Somatics with as many people as possible around the world because it's just such valuable information that I really feel like we all need and deserve to have, knowing how to take care of yourself and have a self-care practice that is uh, beneficial for your body and that optimizes you, helping you stand up gracefully, naturally, vertically, against gravity, comfortably, and in balance the way we were all designed to do.